What's up guys? Back with another video. Um, this will be the reinstallment of kind of modded Mondays. Might change it to like maintenance Mondays or Miata Mondays or something like that. Um, but first I want to show you guys my new camera setup which I just got a few days ago. Um, right now I'm using like a Canon camcorder which is great it works on my tripod it works on my gorilla pod it's kind of big it's kind of bulky it's hard to really do stuff like with one hand and you know you're doing stuff with the other hand so <clears throat> I finally got around to getting a new camera and I'm stoked about it ended up buying the um, GoPro Hero 5 session as you can see it's at least three times smaller than the one I have now, it comes with a couple different options for mounts and I actually got it with a 128 gigabyte memory card and a smart remote. So the thing about this is you can take pictures, you can do videos, you can do uh, time lapse photos, um, you can go all the way down to like 33 feet underwater with no extra housing, um, shoots in 1080p, 10 megapixels, so it's you know, it's a great camera, especially for action shots, which is what I want to start doing um, and taking better photos, obviously. This camera that I'm currently using doesn't take too bad of photos, but um, the thing the thing about the camcorder that has that the GoPro doesn't is the, L, the, the um, LCD screen to see kind of what you're shooting, what you're taking a picture of, what you're recording. With this, you can't. It's just a tiny, tiny screen right there. There's two buttons one in the back and one on the top um, so what GoPro actually has done is it allows you to download this app called Capture or it was Capture and now it's GoPro right there I don't know if you can see it but um, <clears throat> so this has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi built into it which means I can connect to my phone through the app and I can actually see what I'm recording or see what I'm t trying to take a picture of. And with the smart remote, it allows me to control the... Um, this is brand new, I haven't even taken it out of the box. Um, it allows me to control the GoPro like if it was up in the air on a drone, I could press the button and have it start recording. Or I could be, you know, across the way or whatever. I could be, you know, doing something. Um, and I can control it, you know, from the remote. It also has voice control, which you could be like, GoPro, take a picture, GoPro, uh, start recording it, it'll do it. Um, it takes up a lot of battery, but I tested it out recently hiking in New Hampshire, and it was great. I think the video quality is pretty good. It's crisp. Um, it shoot, I think it's like 90 frames per second with this, which my... Uh, my, my camcorder is only like, I want to say like 60, but <clears throat> anyways, I want to share that with you guys real quick. The first thing we were doing, which I've already pretty much done, is I've taken my valve cover off, cleaned the entire thing with Purple Power degreaser, um, and threw the new valve cover gasket in there and sealed it up with some of this which basically I just went and sealed all the corners, you know, so the gasket stays in there. I let it dry, uh, and now we're about to paint it. I didn't bother doing a whole how to do the gasket thing because there are plenty of videos already out there on YouTube anyway about um, doing the Miata valve cover gasket, so decided to skip all that. I won't bore you guys with it, um, but we are going to paint it. A couple things about painting it is it, um, <laughs> it hides any spots from previous oil leaks and as you can see I did as best as I could to get that old 20 year old gunk um, mine was actually pretty bad it was all over like the edges and the corners and stuff um, you could tell it hadn't been done in a really long time so I cleaned it all up and now we're gonna paint it so we're gonna switch to the new camera right now 
you guys will have to excuse me. I'm still getting used to the settings and everything on the camera. I don't currently have a tripod for this camera. Um, but just holding it, I mean, it's really not that bad. It's small. So, take our valve cover, or valve cover with the gasket inside of it. A couple things we're going to need. You're going to need a screwdriver to take off these little spark plug holders. And we're going to need our paint. I'm just going to go with black, just because it's what I have right now. Engine paint, high temp paint, make sure you get that. Withstands heat up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And you're going to need a clear coat. Like that. I've been trying to get the shop cleaned up a little bit so it's easier to work at. Of course, the gym is still a work in progress. Alright, so we got our paint. Let's work on taking these off. Keep those pieces together. Over here. It's always good to keep your pieces where you can find them because when it comes time to put it back in, you don't know where anything is. Okay. Next thing we have to do is pull this little rubber. Ring off as a PCB valve goes. got our first coat on what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a few coats on you guys want to make sure you go back and forth that way the strokes are even um, and it won't drip too bad I'm put another one or two coats on and then we're gonna put the clear coat on and then we're gonna install it back in the car And while this is drying guys, I'm going to go ahead and put a cover over it just because my barn is dusty and a lot of hair and dirt and everything flies around from the floors. So I'm going to put this on to protect it while it's drying. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to go ahead and clean off right where the gasket is going to touch. See how there's sludge on that.
right. Now that our valve cover is dried, you can see I've went ahead and shaved off the Mazda. I'm going to do the same thing with this raised lettering. I'm just going to take a standard wire brush, make sure it's dry so that way none of the shavings get on the paint. I'm just going to shave this down back to the bare metal. Six and a half hours later. There you go. As you can see, we messed up a little bit here, a little bit under here, but it's not perfect. It's okay, it doesn't have to be. It's not like we're racing from Mazda or anything. Alright, looks fresh. Time to put all the fittings back on it, throw it back into the car. You have it guys, valve cover painted, gasket put on, one thing you want to make sure you check is that there's not any gasket sticking out from the side or anything like that, you want to make sure there's nothing under it before you bolt it down. Don't forget to tighten them in a circular motion, so start from the middle and then move outwards, around, and don't forget your two little holders hose, PCV valve, spark plugs, and then right back here there's going to be these little bolts that hold on the coil pack right there so don't forget those either. Make sure you plug these guys back in too. Tightening down these valve cover bolts, bolts make sure you be careful it's they're very easy to break um, they're very easy to over tighten so you're going to want to need it's like 40 between 44 and 78 inch pounds and it's like that's three and a half to six and a half foot pounds so they're very very tender so make sure you be easy on these very important bolts and then fire it up make sure that there's no leaks or anything like that you won't know for probably a couple hundred miles but just initially and you're gonna want to check your oil too just to make sure but yeah, stay tuned for more videos like this, guys. I appreciate all the support. I'll see you guys in the next one.